How you doing guys? Welcome. Right in front of you, I have another multi-tool that I have. I recently just got this. This one right here, there is not really a brand name on it. It's basically just a multi-tool. Uh, the main features is the hammer, the ax, and the pliers. That's about it. Uh, and then there's other multi-tools. Uh, I guess the knife would be another main feature. And then uh, more stuff. Now, as far as in the, like I said, there is no brand, but I got this. The only thing that's on the box with the branding is Fairy Love. And you can read this right here. It says best gift camping accessories tool gifts for men. So, but with the name Fairy Love, um, wondering what type of man or a real man there is but then I always question myself that anyway anyways well going back to the uh, hammer axe right there the blade itself or the axe itself is about uh, two two and a half inches give or take and then the pliers there's a uh, basically a ring, ring lock the unfortunate thing about this plier system, this is its spring uh, right there. And as you can see, it uh, doesn't have a lot of tension. I actually had to bend this out a little bit to make it, you know, more manageable. But once you put it back into lock position, the well, you can see the tension doesn't give out anymore. So that's about that and then the hammer the plier you got your flat you got your regular plier and then you got your uh, wire cutters there and then really, let's close this up then you got your flathead screwdriver uh, big flathead screwdriver and you got your, they call this the fish scaler. So I guess it's for hunting and fishing. So get to scale your fish. And then this one right here. Oh, another neat, another thing, another thing to note is that to be able to get into all the tools, as you can see, they pretty much have to be all open at the same time just to get to the other tools. There's not much uh, room or basically a nail picker or to say that you'll be able to reach for it. So you gotta go one at a time. But as far as in this, this is another, uh, what do you call it? Flathead screwdriver that you could use uh, for the large uh, screws. And then you got your uh, multi hex tool and then you got your bottle opener and right here is the saw so this right here is not a saw this one is a fish scale and this is the actual saw right here blade pretty good and your you got your Phillip screwdriver I believe it's just one size and then of course your blade knife and then another thing to note also is that there is no locking switch. For me, uh, the build quality is reasonable, but there's a lot of sharp edges um, that could have been, I would say, beveled in. Uh, you can see the hammer here. Uh, it's pretty sharp around the edges. It's not beveled as compared to the previous one right here. The A River one, you can see the hammer is beveled. This one right here is well built. Um, everything's all, yeah, like I said, everything's all beveled on the edges. Compared to this, it's pretty sharp. Now, as far as in the size, 
same thing like the A River. It's about a nickel size head. And then since this is a plier and an axe, uh, once you get your hammer and if you hammer a nail, you don't have a nail picker. So just a note on that. Basically one way in. And then as far as in the accessories that it came in, it came with the pouch here. Now, quality of the pouch is not nothing compared to the uh, A River pouch. This one was more well built, more durable compared to this one. This one looks like uh, the same material that they put in cheap backpacks. So that's just my take on it. Now included with the accessories is also a utensil kit uh, for food. It's pretty interesting. You got your spoon, you got your fork, and then you also got your knife. Let me see right there. Knife and bottle opener. Right there. Pretty interesting there. Actually, I do would rather have this be a can opener. Um, you know, if it's a utensil for food, I'd rather have this be a can opener. Uh, too bad they did not make this a can opener, but instead they make a bottle opener. Uh, but what's cool about this is that since it's one piece, you know how when you, like for example, cut up a steak, you need a fork and a knife. What's cool about this is they do separate. See, so you got your knife, I mean fork, and then you got your knife. There you go. Time for some steak. All right, guys, there it is. This is the, uh, I guess, no name brand, but we'll just call it the Fairy Love Multi-Tool um, kit. Survival kit or whatever you want to call it, but it's pretty cool and nifty. It's, you know, maybe usable. Um, maybe not but overall i think this one right here is cool so i actually like this better than this but hey there's reason for it see there you go i'm ready for battle or to work <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching see you next time peace oh yeah don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.